What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to fix our profile pic for our app with Flask and Python. I guess like I said in this video, we're going to fix our profile pic. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, a couple of videos ago, we set up this profile pic system but it didn't quite work in that video. We were able to sort of save the file name and generate the file name. You can see right here, we've got this really weird, unique file name, which is good, but the image itself wasn't popping up. And I thought it was just a Windows thing, but come to find out there was an error in my code. And this awesome viewer pointed it out a couple of days ago, I just had a comma in the wrong spot. So we're gonna fix that today and set up the system to where the picture actually shows up on the page. We need to make a couple little tweaks to that and it should be pretty easy. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I'm gonna head over to my app.py file and I'm going to search for dashboard. And here's our dashboard function. If we come down here, this is the section right here where we sort of set up all of that profile pic stuff. Here's the main thing right here where we're saving the uploaded picture to our Django app in the static slash images directory right here, right? So the problem is, here is the main line that we're dealing with. This guy right here should be inside of this parentheses, not outside. Just a silly little oversight on my part and boom, now it should work. So that's really all we need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and now, let me come up here and delete. You can see I've uploaded a few pictures here. Let me just go ahead and delete these just so it's easy for us to see what's going on here. Okay, so let's head back over to our app and refresh this. Okay, so I'm in my dashboard. I'm logged in. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna upload a file. I'm just gonna grab, well, let's grab this pool guy first. And I'm gonna click submit. When it does, we can see here the image name has been saved to the database. That was already working. But now if we head back over to Sublime and we look in here, we can see sure enough, boom, this picture has been uploaded. So very cool. So that seems to work, but it's still not showing up on this page. So we need to fix that. Let's head back over to our code and we wanna to go to dashboard.html. So this is our dashboard page. Now, if we come down here, sort of towards the middle-ish here, we can see, let's see, here is where we have the profile pic, the default profile pic image sitting. So right here, we just need to do a little logic. So let's go if, and if we come up here, we could see here is the profile pic name, right? We're saving it as profile underscore pic. It gets passed to this page as current underscore user dot profile pic. So we can do some if state. So we can do some logic on that. So we can say, hey, if this exists, then do something else do this, right? And we always wanna be sure to end our if, right? So if you have a profile pic, we, a pic, we wanna show it right here. If you don't, we just wanna show this default. So I'm gonna copy this default code and pop it in here. So here we can see the file name is this default profile pic. Now we don't want that obviously, so I'm gonna take that out. And then right here, I'm just gonna concatenate and then we could just pass in this guy. And there we go. And that should do it. So this will point to our static file, that images directory, and then whatever this is saved as in the database as your profile pic. So we can go ahead and save this, head back to the site and go back to this page and boom, there it is. Don't like that picture? All right, let's put a new one in here. Here I've got one of myself hiking in the mountains. I can click submit, user updated successfully, boom, there it is. And it's just that easy. So just a silly mistake in the last video, well, a couple of videos ago, and moving that profile pic thing inside the parentheses. Once we do that, the whole thing works fine. And that's kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 48 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com and I'll see you in the next video.